Welcome to the Snake Pit. Right. Check this out. <laughs> Mule. Looks to be in really good shape, too. Nice. Mule. <laughs> this is one of those awesome games from my youth. Uh, I remember playing it on Commodore 64 back in the 80s. My older brother's Commodore 64, his game. Played with him, my cousin. It's a multiplayer game. Uh, developed by Ozark Softscape. Now, this was ported by Mindscape to the Nintendo Entertainment System back in 1990. Multiplayer game, you will need the NES 4 score or something like that, like I've shown. Uh, you can play up to four players with that. Three different levels there, and then you're going to choose your color. You get to choose your character, a humanoid or some other type of alien. Each one has their own aboard, advantage or disadvantage. This is basically a... You're going to develop a colony on another planet. So you have 12 months to do it. And each month equals a round, basically. So no matter how many live players are playing, you know, one, two, three, four, the other players are going to be played by a computer. So you're always going to have four. And basically, real easy, The as each round goes, this box goes around. You're going to hit your button to claim your uh, little square of land. And you got to develop it. And that's where the mules come in. They, that stands for multiple use labor elements. <laughs> I know. So you got to buy your mule. You got to outfit it. Uh, outfit it with uh, farming, energy, or mining is the basic stuff there. Uh, take it out to your land, set it up, and at the end of the round, it's going to produce a random amount of uh, goods, which you're going to take to market. And you can see I've skipped through here on the gameplay. You'll have all kinds of stuff happening. you have pirates show up. You'll have uh, earthquakes. There's a wampus you can catch for extra money. You know, you got to go and at the end of each round, sell your goods and trade and stuff like that so it's it's kind of fun interaction when you get especially more it's more fun when you're playing with other humans real humans you know what I mean uh, you know in your it's just more fun that way now at the end of the 12 months the colony ship comes back and you get racked and stacked I used to always think all right up, uh, if I'm up on top I have one but here's what I've always seen the colony failed. <laughs> All right. The Federation will no longer send trade ships. You're on your own. Okay. I'm thinking there's more in depth to this game than just me trying to make the most money possible. So maybe there's a method where the whole colony prospers. I don't know. Any of you out there played it where your colony did not fail, uh, please let me know because uh, just in my memory playing it in the past, I think our colony always failed. And we just went with uh, who was on top was the winner. <laughs> Pure capitalist style type of thing. So anyway, let me know what you think about Mule if you ever played it. If you haven't played it and you have an NES, pick this one up. I know a certain NES guidebook by Pat Contry. Um, gave this a pretty good rating, uh, like three and a half star out of five. And I'd probably rate it, you know, four because of my nostalgia. So check it out. Boom. Boom.